just put a bubble on it. Famous words that would spark the passions of an entire nation. Inventing possibilities unimagined. Birthing some of the best entertainment we've ever seen. All the while capturing the hearts of fans. Bubble hockey has increased in popularity since the Sick Kids Foundation launched the world's most important tournament in 2016. They built a stage so prestigious that only a few could even dream of stepping upon it. The pinnacle of all table sporting events. And those who wield the dowels with the greatest of passion will triumph under the bubble and ultimately take home the fourth annual Sick Kids Bubble Hockey Championship title. This is an event that, you know, I've always watched and been really excited about being a part of, but knew that we didn't have the talent to really compete, to really get after it. But this year, I think Taylor might be the key to our success. Taylor was a young punk that turned out to have some of the fastest hands anyone had seen north of the border. Since we've been partners, he's fun to watch. He's so quick on the dowels, it's really special. Yeah, you know, I just really find myself in my element here. Some people excel at uh, football or basketball, um, and I just, I really excel at hockey. The, the bubble kind? Well, yeah, the, the bubble kind's all I know. And to think, none of this would have happened without his coach, his mentor, his father. I surprised him one Christmas and bought him actually a bubble hockey game, which I always dreamed of having myself. They could hardly see over the top of the game. He looked up at me and said, Dad, I want to be just as good as you are. And I looked at him and I said, Son, you'll be much better. I, I remember as a kid thinking to myself, how am I gonna beat this guy? Um, he was hitting shots I couldn't even comprehend at the time. In order to win at bubble hockey, you need to be able to score. And the best way to do that is to get the puck to your centerman and ultimately on net. A task that can be achieved in different ways and quite creatively. You gotta get very creative. You gotta start using banks, use the end boards, the side boards. Your big twig turnarounds. You got the big twig backhand off the boards to the centerman. You got your turnaround small wing. Um, you've got your point pass. Flip shot from the back from your defense, which is effective. You've got your one timer from the big twig. Um, and then of course you have your, uh, your small left D man uh, feeding up on the boards for a one timer. That's, uh, that's a good one as well. You need to really focus on the centerman. Um, you're going to score 75%, 80% of your goals from your centerman. When I first picked up the game, I thought the big twig was going to be my go-to guy. <laughs> but here I am now telling you that it's in fact the small twig turnaround clapper on the left side that gets me the most goals. Um, which <laughs> I was shocked at as well. And while most kids grow up outside playing with friends, there are some who grow up in the bubble. What a shot. For these two, playing for the title of the house is a great feat. But one step further, and more importantly, playing to get out of washing dishes. It wasn't until I was 13, 14 years old where I thought to myself, I can beat this guy. That was it! Flip on that another one! I mean, I beat him 10-1, 10-2 at times, and you know, he got frustrated and he would, you know, bang the bubble, but uh, he kept going. He, he still wanted to try and beat me. Now I find myself playing my ass off. Big goal. 
Bubble hockey at this level requires talent that most can only dream of. It takes precision and speed to best your opponent, all the while playing with intense defense for that unexpected turnover. No! And if there's a winner, yeah! <laughs> there's almost always a loser. So lucky. guys there you want you always want your sentiment you want your sentiment right here okay in doubles just as in life a partner is someone with whom you learn both members must be on the same page and for these two they have found that page in a book called bubble hockey i'm learning so much we've played together for years and what people don't realize is yeah you see the guy at game time and he's good but behind the scenes he really puts the effort into showing you how to play don't put it in front of the net up and around. Okay, he's gonna get active up and down his track. I wanna see you go up and around with that puck. It is tough. You have to become the players out there. Uh, you have to be feeling what they're feeling inside of the bubble. Um, and it's difficult because uh, they are made of plastic. This is where all the action's happening, Pete. Use the boards, Pete. Up and around. Up and around, Peter. He has taught me everything I know about this game. Can you beat your friends? <laughs> I basically beat everyone, except Taylor. You have a pass, you can backhand pass to your centerman, I'll be moving, but you can also wrap around this D, okay? Don't be afraid Taylor. to go, yeah. Can I see you in my office, please? Yeah, for sure. Uh, keep looking at this speed, I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Taylor, your current partner, he isn't cutting it, all right? I've been watching the game tape, and he's not ready. We need to make a move. This move needs to be big, and I may be talking crazy, but I think it needs to be your father. 